Hi there, and welcome to the Impact Investing Lab. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can reinvent your philanthropy using a donor advised fund. My name is Alex Nichols. I'm the Regional Director for Distribution with Impact Assets. I've been with the organization for about 10 years now, and what I focus on is helping individuals, financial advisors, and impact focused organizations use their philanthropic dollars for good. Before we get started today, talking about how you can use your donor advised fund for good, a quick disclaimer. This is not a solicitation to buy or sell securities nor a private placement offering. This is purely informational and hopefully something that you could use as an educational tool. So donor advised funds are a product that are used by impact assets. Impact Assets is an organization that got started about 11 years ago with the idea that we would be a public charity focused on the growth and development of impact investing. Since that time, we've grown to over $1.5 billion under management. And our main focus is really helping to support that growth of impact investing. Our clients have recommended over 835 impact investments. Last year alone in 2020, we had over 200 of those investments totaling $200 million. Our clients are also actively granting with their money as well. So in response to both the COVID uh, response and then the racial justice movements, we had over 11,000 grants from our clients. The way that we're making that happen is through a structure that's called a donor advised fund. Now those were started in the early 1930s and essentially what they are, kind of the easiest way to think about them, is that we manage a lot of private foundations. We ourselves and Impact Assets are a public charity, so when clients give money to Impact Assets and they contribute that money to us, they get a tax gift for putting those dollars into an account. All right, so let's do an example. Let's say Jane Smith has $100,000 that she knows that she wants to give to charity. Uh, she could open a donor advised fund and impact assets with that $100,000. She would get a tax receipt for that contribution. And then over the course of a few years, she would be able to grant to organizations that she cared about. And any money that she had not yet granted out, she would have uh, invested in her donor advised fund account, the Jane Smith Fund. Now, the issue there is that DAS can and need to be used for greater impact. Of the approximately $160 billion that are in donor advised funds, the vast majority of them are invested in the typical model, which is that essentially you're told only to focus on the granting and don't think about the investing. As you can see on the left-hand side, the grants that are made tend to be between 5 and 10% of the total account of you know, the Jane Smith fund. The rest of the money that is invested is tends to be invested in traditional non-impact stock and bond portfolios. It's called capital and waiting. What's the point of that? You know, if anybody ever asks, like, wow, I'm having an impact in investing in the thing, granting the things I care about, what about the money that's being invested? Well, it's kind of like the Wizard of Oz, where the wizard says, don't look behind the curtain over there. You, you just focus on the granting. We'll, we'll handle the investing. It really shouldn't be the case. We believe strongly that DAS can and be, uh, need to be used for that greater impact. How do we do that? Well, we help our clients invest in things like socially screened mutual funds, uh, private debt and equity impact funds that are focused on a specific theme, or even direct, direct investments into both for and nonprofits that have an impact. What does that end up meaning? Is that not only are you granting, but you're investing all of this philanthropic money into organizations that align with your values. It means more money is being used for good. Our DAF exists to help catalyze those impact investments. So our team would work with you to make sure that you're able to invest in organizations that align with your values and are also in the structure that uh, best aligns with your granting goals and things of that nature. Now, you might be asking, why would you necessarily do this? You know, if you get a tax write-off, why not just immediately grant all that money out? Well, we by no means want to uh, take money away from being granted. In fact, we want it to increase. However, we think as well that the impact of your philanthropic dollars is amplified by impact investing. 
So let's use the Jane Smith fund example again. Jane Smith put $100,000 into a donor advised fund. Typically, she would have been told, okay, you could put it into some mutual funds. Well, if she actually were to make an investment into an organization that was working on the uh, issues that she cares about, let's just say a debt investment into an organization working on the environment. Well, any of the uh, returns that came from that investment would be returned back into her donor advised fund. So if Jane made a $50,000 investment, any of that uh, either a liquidity event or a loan repayment would mean that she would have more money back into her donor advised fund which could then be reinvested two, three, four, five times. And that means that that reinvestment would mean that the same initial dollars would have impact multiple times. It's leveraging your ability to have additional impact. Now, how do we do that? Well, the donor advised fund, as I mentioned, can execute a wide range of investment structures. That is everything from being able to make grants uh, on the left-hand side of this example that was inspired by our friends at the Heron Foundation to things like uh, forgivable loans, uh, guarantees. And as you get to the right-hand side, you have more traditional market rate investments, like a fixed income investment into a group like California Farm Link, or a public equity or private equity investment even into groups like Beyond Meat. The reason why we show this is to say that wherever you are in terms of your uh, comfort, in terms of making investments, you would be able to make that through the donor advised fund. What we like is that you're able to say, what's the best and highest use of this capital and how do I deal with this issue and either grant or invest to work on the causes that you care about. A client profile, I think is a nice way to be able to show you how this might look with a real life example. So if a client came to us and they had an environmental impact focus, we would want more of the money in that account to be used for good. We would do that by making sure that, that what used to be called that capital in waiting would be capital invested for impact. Uh, we have impact assets managed strategies. So these are public debt and equity portfolios that you would be able to select from uh, that you could put yourselves into that would focus on the environment. We also have private debt and equity funds that we make available to our clients or you would be able to invest as little as $10,000 into a fund that's working on the environment. And finally, if a client was interested, they could come to us and say, I have an organization that I am specifically interested in that's working on the environment. An organization like Beyond Meat. That's a real life example where one of our clients came to us before Beyond Meat went public and they said, I really like Beyond Meat and I think it's so impactful because, it, because it's a meat alternative. I'd like to invest in that organization. Our team reviewed the investment, made the investment from the donor advised fund, and then eventually when that company went public, that meant that all of the funds from that uh, liquidity event went back into the client's donor advised fund, and they were able to further grant and invest into organizations that are helping the environment. At the end of the day, impact investing should not only be the purview of uh, philanthropy, but we feel strongly that all philanthropic dollars should be used to be invested for impact. Now, hopefully this gave you a sense of what we do in Impact Assets and how we can help either you or your organization get more dollars invested for impact. But we really would like to connect with you. There are so many different instances where donor advised fund can be used uh, to activate these philanthropic dollars. So if you are a financial advisor, an impact focused organization, an individual or representative from a group, whatever it might be, give us a call and we'd be happy to talk with you. We could be reached at engagement at impactassets.org or you could call us directly at 855-482-2946 and option one will get you directly to our team. Again, my name is Alex Nichols and thank you so much for joining and learning a little bit more about how we make impact with philanthropic dollars and impact assets. Thank you and hope to talk soon.